Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. All right, once again, the, the Hobby King Avios King Twin 1700, it's done. I've got it completely built, completely set up in the transmitter. So what I'm gonna do for you is show you how fast somebody can set up a full gyro and the full safe select. This has an AR637TA receiver that is updated and unlocked where you can install it in something of your choice and then program it to that plane. I have the receiver mounted upside down with the pins facing towards the front. All six channels are being used. Throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, flaps, and landing gear. So all six channels of the six channel receiver are being used. I've got a six channel transmitter However, the NX6 has a hidden 7th seventh, seventh channel that only has a few uh, capabilities, and one is turning safe on and off. So we're going to use the 7th channel as a flight mode, and we'll just have one flight mode of AS3X, which is the stability for gust of wind, and the other flight mode will be AS3X and safe select the self-leveling and limited bank angles. So. I'm going to show you in real time how long it takes to set all that up in the transmitter, which it doesn't take long at all. The plane is set up in the transmitter as far as all the control surfaces, the, the, the dual rates, the flaps, the landing gear. If you didn't need a gyro for the stability and you didn't need safe select, the plane could be flown right now. So that's where it's set up. and that. That is what you need to finish before you can set up the, the AS3X and the safe select. So that's what I'm going to do. Doesn't take long at all. So that will give you guys something to look forward to you know, once you uh, get a little more practice. I'm going to knock this out in less than 10 minutes and have full safe and everything ready to go on a switch. So let's put it together. I'll show you guys the screen of the transmitter and then, uh, then we'll just knock it out. So sit tight. Oh, whoa, 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 give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't. All right, got the Avios King Twin. I'll show you guys here real fast like. You got the dual rates. All on switch F. Got the flap system set up. Negative 100 for no flaps. Negative 45 for mid flap and a positive 100 for full landing flaps and we're going to go down here to forward programming i already have a throttle hold you have to have a throttle lock before you can enter forward programming and gyro settings first time setup so sit back relax and get ready all right there ladies and gentlemen Let's boot the plane up and then configure AS3X and safe select. We'll run through the control surfaces real quick just to make sure everything's working like it's supposed to. Right aileron on up, left aileron on up, elevator up, elevator down, rudder left, rudder right, half flaps, full flap, flap back up. Throttle cut off, throttle cut on. We're going to set up safe select and AS3X. So one channel will have safe and the AS3X, and the other channel will have just the AS3X. So throttle cuts on, go into forward programming. First time setup. Make sure the model's been configured. Next. All your wing and tail type, everything been configured? Yes. Set the model level and press continue. Set the model on its nose and press continue. Make sure the picture on the transmitter of the receiver matches the way you have it mounted. 
mine does continue apply <clears throat> you hear it do a do a dance that means the AS3X is coming alive all right back into forward programming it kicks you out once it reboots like that gyro setting flight mode setup so our flight mode channel is going to be aux 2 which is the channel 7 in the NX6 so aux 2 switch A next now I can flip my switch and I can see when the switch is full, pulled back to me, the gear switch letter A, I'm in flight mode 3, AS3X is active. When I push the switch forward, flight mode 1, AS3X active. AS3X settings, AS3X gains sensitivity, 1X, 2X, or 4X. 1X is for jets or 3D planes. 2X is for mild planes, like maybe Warbird. 4X is for slow, inherit, uh, you know, this type plane. 4X, oh, 4X it is. Do we want fixed or adjustable gain? We're going to leave it at fixed. Flight mode one, it's fixed. Flight mode three is fixed gains. The priority in the in the the gain setting, I'm going to leave at the default. First time safe setup. Before setting up safe, a flight mode channel must be configured. I'm going to verify my flight mode channel. Is AUX2 switch 8 or switch A? Yes, it is. Continue. Flight mode 3, select the desired flight mode switch position for each flight mode. Level the model and capture the attitude. So let's see what we think about the plane being level. They're talking about level flight. And I would say that's pretty dang level right there. I've never flown this, but it looks like it's going to fly like that. And just for the heck of it, that bubble level is, I'd say it's in level flight right now. So we're going to capture the attitude. All right, so the the angle limits for the for the flight envelope for safe select is set at 60 degrees for roll, 40 degrees for pitch down, 50 degrees for pitch up. I'm going to change the roll to 70 degrees. And then the pitch up or pitch down rather to 60 and the pitch up to 60 it'd be better to have more than not enough for your first flights it always can be adjusted next and apply <clears throat> oh what did we just hear double dances mm, sounds like safe select back to forward programming so let's just run through everything and make sure what we got set up here gyro settings I'm going to go to my flight mode setup and just verify and watch it on the screen so my switch pulled back to me is flight mode 3 AS3X is active right now safe is enabled I'm gonna choose from self leveling angle demand or envelope and I'm gonna go with the with the get over here what? It's acting funky. There we go. Self-leveling and angle demand. When the switch is pulled back towards me, when I push the switch forward, 
AS3X is active only. So then we're going to hit back and go to safe settings and then we're going to go to safe games and we're just going to leave those at the default value but we're just going to make sure that they're on when the switch is pulled back 35 for roll 35 for pitch when I push the switch forward that setting on the screen disappears so safe is only when the switch is back and then the angle limits for safe. Verifying that it's at 70 and 60. When I push the switch forward, those settings go away. I'll show you all this once we're done. Safe gains, we're gonna make sure they're fixed. Yep, they're fixed. When I push the switch forward, they're not there. So back. Back. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to choose relearn servo settings and apply and complete. Just clicked on my flight mode. When the switch is back, AS3X is active. Safe select is active. When I push the switch forward, only AS3X is active. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the whole plane. And then off with the transmitter. And then on with the transmitter. And we'll hear and see the double dances. Safe is on. Double dances. Going to put on the canopy. I'm going to turn safe select off throttle cut off gave us some throttle to activate the AS3X throttle cut back on so when I wiggle the plane we should be able to hear the gyro hear it if a gust of wind blows the left wing up the aileron will come up to to counteract the gust of wind if I lift this wing this aileron should go up and it does I'm going to flip on safe select and attempt to try to flip this over without breaking something to show that the ailerons are fully deflective, deflecting, trying to roll the plane right side up. See the aileron? Safe select is on with the switch back and safe is off with the switch forward. Let me show you the transmitter, guys. Alrighty then, so let's take a look in at the forward programming. And I'll show you guys the flight mode. So, my gear switch, or switch A, when it's forward, AS3X only. And you can see the switch is forward, so that's flight mode 1, AS3X active, safe, inactive. I'm going to flip the switch back. AS3X is active, it, it changes to flight mode 3. AS3X is active, safe select is active for self-leveling angle demand. If it was a three position switch, it would go flight mode one, two, three. But since the switch is going from negative 100 to positive 100 and bypassing the middle setting of zero, then it goes from flight mode one to three. So flight mode one 
AS3X only, flight mode three, switch back, AS3X active, and safe select. So now, all you do is you fly it and make adjustments from there. All right, guys, so all I need to do is get the, the center of gravity figured out, and then we just need to fly it. The nose cone is supposed to be glued on, and I glued a couple of popsicle sticks in there, and then I got a couple screws, because I might need to add some weight up there. I had to move the receiver back about two inches, because it was getting in, in the way of the battery. But she's ready. So, hey, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. That goes a long ways in the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment. How about a video idea? So, thank you guys so much. Until next time, you'll see me here.